Well, anybody who knows myself or my brother knows how excited I was uh, a little while back when I heard about uh, a uh, hockey tournament on Lake Buell. Uh, it was going to be a, a, a great fundraiser, a great event. Uh, it took a long time to set up. When we did our original interview with Alex, um, we were hoping that the weather would turn colder. It hasn't. Um, but there's some good news out of this bad news. Alex, I know you must be a little disappointed that uh, the thing didn't go off exactly as planned. But once again, in the community that we live in, uh, we had somebody step forward. So at least you can deliver uh, some hockey this year. Yes, Marshall, thank you for, for having me again. And, um, you know, it's hard to quite honestly, even though it was a year in the making, it's hard to be disappointed about something so out of our control. And if anything's out of our control, it's the weather. So, you know, it's, um, I was really ready to, you know, you mentioned it was supposed to be on Lake Buell on January 28th. The weather was too warm. So we postponed it to February 11th, this Saturday. We tried switching the location from Buell to Benedict Pond in Beartown State Forest and the tremendous DCR um, team granted us new permits to switch it to Benedict. Uh, we were all set up to have you know people helping with car parking, et cetera. Um, but of course, you know, it's been a really warm winter. And so, you know, we earlier this week checked the ice conditions at Benedict. We saw the forecast. It's going to be 50 degrees tomorrow. And we just knew it wasn't going to work for pond hockey. So we had kind of an option to cancel it and, and try just again next year and have, have learned a lot, but then kind of out of the blue, um, a gentleman by the name of Chris Weld, who is an entrepreneur who, who owns Berkshire Mountain Distillery and the past dispensary, uh, who are two of our sponsors of the tournament, put us in touch with the, the head of school at Berkshire School in Sheffield. And long story short here is that our 16-team Berkshire Pond Hockey Classic is now going to be an eight-team Berkshire Hockey Classic on the NHL rink at Berkshire School in Sheffield from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. And this is a great alternative. And like you said, the community really stepping up and uh, they granted us, uh, they donated this ice um, to have this tournament. We're still gonna have a catered, you know, Bob from GB Bagel breakfast for all the skaters at um, Berkshire School. I was at the facility today. It's just a, a beautiful, immaculate building. Um, so yeah, really happy that there will be some hockey and, uh, if you're still following along, that's, uh, it's been quite a, a lesson in adaptability. Um, but it's just really been tremendous to see the community here. And the tournament, which will be at Berkshire schools uh, rink uh, this Saturday. Um, once again, people can go, it's free of charge and you still have so many people that help you put this together and so many businesses that have contributed uh, i think we should if we if you want give them a, a little more uh publicity and credit let me tell you this we if you go to berkshire pond hockey classic you could see the logos of the 12 incredible sponsors of this tournament i mean the past berkshires came in um and and really you know were, were the, the presenting sponsor from the get-go and helped to sponsor the free jerseys that we're going to be giving out to skaters Berkshire Bank uh, gave a grant of $1,000 from their foundation to be part of this. And Berkshire Bank is still bringing a team to Berkshire School. I mentioned GB Bagel Company. Uh, Gary and Andrew, the owners of Barrington Brewery, uh, were gracious enough to sponsor. And we're going to be hosting uh, an event there afterwards, which is free and uh, open for anyone to attend. Um, you know, there, there will be some beers for, for people to purchase who are over 21, but anyone can, can go there. A lot of the players will Berkshire magazine is our media sponsor, uh, and really helped to market this event. Roberto's pizza. We had a wood fired pizza oven that was going to get built in the Lake Buell parking ramp for this tournament. Um, and unfortunately that won't happen this year, but you know, for next year, we're really hoping to make that happen. Um, thank you. Thank you to Kat and Ben at Classical Tents. They donated a winter tent with heating tables and chairs for 50 people to sit and enjoy Robbie's pizza in the in the parking um, in the parking lot. And so you know, we won't be needing that 
for the Berkshire school uh, set up, but we really appreciate Kat and Ben. And then um, drip coffee's coming up from New York city. We have extra special teas, a fantastic nonprofit in Housatonk and great Barrington providing free tea for the players, Berkshire mountain distillers, Berkshire school. And our final sponsor is uh, since Robbie's pizza won't be coming to Berkshire school. We have style and Frank's a hot dog cart is going to post up this Saturday. So there'll be hot dogs um, and people can, can come and bring your, bring your kids. I have th my three nieces are coming. My one, four and six year old nieces are going to come watch me play hockey. And, and, you know, a lot of other uh, family and friends are going to be coming for the 48 players in this tournament. Uh, there's a law enforcement team coming from Berkshire County. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's different, but at least we're going to get a little bit of hockey in, in this super warm, unusual winter. Okay, so once again, let's go over the particulars. So this hockey tournament will be held this Saturday. Uh, what time should people arrive? What time will the skating start? And uh, once, let's go over all that again. Absolutely. So, you know, Berkshire School is in Sheffield, Massachusetts. Uh, the, the, the first puck drops at 11 a.m. Um, and the tournament goes until 2 p.m. So 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., show up free of charge. Um, there'll be two games going on at once. We'll be using one rink and, you know, there's just a beautiful seating area up above where you can just watch, you know, some local players play hockey, have some coffee, have a hot dog, meet some new people. Uh, and it should be a really good time. Well, congratulations on, on the stick to it of this. this. And uh, I really think this is just a great idea. And, uh, you know, it can't be warm every winter, so we'll have to see what happens next winter. But uh, people, you can have a great time at the Berkshire School uh, on Saturday morning uh, into the afternoon. Alex, once again, uh, thanks for joining us and best of luck with the tournament. And uh, I hope you score a goal or two. I will. I will. Um, thank you so much, Marshall. And uh, keep updates on BerkshirePondHockeyClassic.com. And let's hope for this to happen on a frozen sheet of ice uh, on a pond or lake next winter.